Hey guys, today I'm going to be transferring my 20 gig memory into a new 250 gig hard drive. And so I've had this since I've had my Xbox 360, I'd say probably like, gosh, three, close to four years. And 20 gigs just doesn't cut it. So today I'm going to show you how I'm going to go about transferring this to the 250 gig hard drive. Uh, one of the main reasons why I'm making you this video and showing it to you, um, just a couple things to keep in mind. First most important thing I want to show you guys is the, um, the transfer cable. You can go about transferring data to your new hard drive a couple different ways. Um, uh, but the one I recommend most is getting the transfer cable. Uh, there is another way where you could have just totally download all the information you've ever downloaded onto your new hard drive or you can get a transfer cable. Um, now there are transfer cables on eBay and Amazon. A friend of mine actually purchased a transfer cable off Amazon and it did not work for transferring his old memory uh, or his memory from his old hard drive to his new hard drive. And the reason why that was the case is because the transfer cable wasn't the newest version. Um, if you want to be sure that your transfer cable is going to work uh, for transferring all your files, saved games, gamer profile, demos, um, all the add-on content you downloaded, you want to make sure that it gets transferred to the new hard drive correctly, call up Microsoft Direct directly. You can get this cable for around 12 to 13 dollars. So uh, let's go right now and uh, show you the process of transferring um, your 20 gig memory to a 250 gig hard drive. So here we go. Okay guys, I just showed you my old 20 gig hard drive. There it is, and it's not on the system. If you're doing this transfer, you want to make sure that it's connected to your Xbox 3 console. So let me just turn it off real quick. Just make sure it's attached. Okay. It's on there all right. Let's load it up. Okay, we're now looking at the back of my Xbox 360 console. Um, and this is also, all this is in the instruction book that comes with the transfer cable. Um, make sure that there are no accessories in the back USB port because with the transfer cable, you want to make sure that you just put that in the rear port there. So now I'm going to insert the cable, transfer cable, into the hard drive. Right there. Okay, now I'm going to insert the disc that came with the transfer cable. It's hard drive transfer information. So it says here that based on the amount of content of the original hard drive, I had close to, I had about 19, almost 20 gigs. I was probably like 100 meg short of 20 gigs. So it said it's going to take about an hour and a half to transfer the original hard drive content. So here we go. All content will be transferred to the new 250 gig hard drive. And all the content that was in the 250 gig hard drive will be erased. So if by chance you get a 250 gig hard drive on your console, say you buy like the Final Fantasy 13 um, bundle and it comes with the hard drive and you have your save files on that, make sure you take those save files off. If, you're get, if you have another hard drive, you're going to transfer that old content onto the new hard drive because otherwise all the content and memory on the 250 hard drive will be erased. Okay, I'll come back when this is done. 
Okay, so an hour and a half has gone by and the transfer is complete. First step, remove the disc from the tray. And it said once you remove that, it will reset that and to turn off the console. Okay guys, so I have my old hard drive that I took off the console and I took the 250 gig hard drive off the transfer cable. Now all I have to do is attach it to my console. Uh, I noticed when I did the transfer that the content that comes on the 250 gig hard drive like an intro video to the Xbox and also music and other content that Microsoft already puts on there that is not actually erased it's still on there so you'll see this actually when I show you the amount of memory instead of it saying 230 gigs available it's gonna say 210 gigs available and uh, but you, just to let you know that information like say any videos um, or content that's on the new hard drive that can be taken off the content that you know that Microsoft put on there like the videos and the uh, the themes you can take that off you don't have to keep that on there so there you have it 210 gigs the transfer was successful and uh, like I said if you do get the transfer cable you know you have to make sure you have that disk and make sure that it's an updated um, it's a new version for the transfer cable if you have any questions at all about this um, transfer or transferring an old hard drive to a new hard drive, please let me know. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you later.